This really is beautiful. I haven't had shaders in the end with better end mod before and this is absolutely stunning. I love this. But anyways, hello and welcome back to End Survival. And I just wanted to check out how this looks with shaders turned on. And I must say, I am not disappointed at all. I don't think we will be using the shaders all the time while playing. Or maybe we will. I don't know. It might make it a little dark compared to what it normally is. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Because this... I could get used to this. Like if we compare this path and disable it, yeah, it all of a sudden gets bright, but also a little bit bland. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. It looks pretty good. Enabled. Not gonna lie. But anyways, welcome back to End Survival. Like I said, in the last episode, we made this. We have a field of shadow berries growing. We are never going to run out of of food again and you know what i can really get used to this shader thing um but yeah we made this in the last episode i'm very happy with that but today we are going to be focusing on our other farms because i really want to fix this part of the base right here this stair this farm stuff these crystals this lake this area right here in general i want to give a revamp because this right here looks a whole lot better and i also want to if possible if possible set an area to grow some tenanea trees because we use that wood quite a lot so i would like to have a place where i can grow those trees nearby also because i need more charcoal and my wood supply is running low also in the last episode we made our full crystallite armor set and i have figured something out so the elytra crystallite it does get reduced like uh, in durability like a normal elytra but the cool thing is that you can do is you can actually repair it using a terminite ingot in an anvil and considering how much ender dust and thalassium we have in our chest over here that shouldn't be a problem at all so really what i want to get on these are unbreaking and protection so as soon as we can enchant stuff we'll be working on that i think maybe in the next episode we should work on getting some sort of XP grinder, maybe? I don't know. I definitely want an XP farm. But anyways, uh, our first issue is going to be my axe. Uh, because I'm gonna have to chop down quite a lot of trees. And, um, well... Hmm... The Terminite Axe is tempting. Eventually we will be upgrading our stuff to Eternium. But for now... Yeah, Thalassium is just not gonna cut it. Terminite, I don't know if... I feel like Terminite might just be a waste, to be honest. I don't have a diamond one, so I might just make a standard diamond axe for now. As I don't really have anything else for the diamonds to use the diamonds for. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then I think right away, the thing that I want to do... I'm already used to these shaders. Again, it could be a little bit brighter, but... Yeah, let me know your feedback down below in the comments if you think we should use these... Uh, more often. I want to find a place, a suitable open area, where I can have and grow my trees. Preferably very near my base. This is an open area right next to the lake. We could make a little bit of a bridge going over here, removing these two trees that are in the way. You are gonna be annoying. So yeah, we could put a tree farm right here, removing some of these trees, getting a lot of wood from that. It is quite an open area, so that is definitely a possibility. I think it might even be the best possibility, because right over there, that's just an edge that then, I believe, lead down into the void, which is not what we want. We want a nice open area. Yeah, see, there's just this area here, and then it's just death. So let's not do that. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have to clear out some of these trees right here, and then we will make a bridge from that staircase over, leading all the way over here. Yeah, and then we can maybe make this place look a little bit nicer as well. But I think I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these trees here, so I think that is our first task for today. Okay, I think I might be getting close to finished. Uh, <laughs> These trees take a long time to cut down because they have so many branches that go off in weird 
directions like this one is just sitting here all on its own D yeah it takes ages to cut down these trees and not only that sometimes they grow very close to other trees like this one over here and well they don't always just well get rid of their leaves so yeah cutting down these trees can be a pain but i think i'm done with this one nope See, that's always the odd one. Honestly, I wish I could get I wish I could get flint so I could put fires because <laughs> then I could clean up these canopies. But I guess I just have to keep chopping until there's nothing left, or until I can see lumps where I can see the leaves haven't decayed. But I think that is one tree, and look at all this wood. That is a lot of wood, and I haven't even removed the, the bottom part here, but ow. But as you can see, there's a tree right there, and it goes in and interferes, like, right there. And yeah, I did turn off shaders because it was a lot easier to see without having the shaders on. Okay, that was one tree, and it does not look like that the tree, that the leaves are decaying. So I have most likely missed logs here and there. Or maybe the leaves just don't decay. That could also be, but I don't think so. Oh no, wait, it is decaying. I see saplings up there. Alright, I'll just have to give it time then. So that is one tree down. Uh, too many slimes. That's one tree down. I do want I think I want to leave that one. Um I think I want to take out those two as well. But I do now have a lot of wood, so I think I'll take a break from the tree chopping and move on to firstly upgrading this staircase to be more like the one over there. I think the path is fine. I quite like the stone path that we have going on, but I want to yeah, copy this setup, put it over there, and then I want to figure out what I want to do with this part. I think I want to get rid of the crystals, even though they look great. Um, maybe extend the last landmass out and yeah, but first I think I want to expand this. First thing first though, I will take this one piece of charcoal, put it in here, and start cooking some of these blocks into charcoal. So this farm has 10 blocks inside the locks here, so what I want to do is I would just want to go 10 blocks out, place a lock down, and then continue this path all the way out, and then we will have a plot right here for something. I haven't, I haven't yet decided what I want to plant, but I just want to have as many plants as possible to be honest but so would go here and hmm yeah i guess we will have another plot right here maybe it will fit with 10 8 9 10 wow 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 perfect 10 right here <laughs> all right i guess that's what we do and then these pillars right here go out 10 in total so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right, we're gonna have to get rid of some of this stuff, unfortunately. One thing that I actually really want to farm are these, these things that we're chopping down now, the end loads of stems, because I use them a lot for the lanterns and stuff, and I really, really want to have a supply of these. All right, now to add the pillars. All right, just gotta add the lanterns now, and this section is almost ready. I just wanna clean this up a little bit, but other than that, this part of the farm is ready for whatever we're gonna do with it. I don't know yet. Now for this section, I feel like maybe we keep it back, like the tree. Like that. I think that's gonna look okay. And you know what? I think it's actually gonna look better if we do that instead of having the, the cut piece here. Have it like that, I think. I think that might look better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all of these pretty much. Because I think, yeah, it's definitely gonna look a lot better. There we go. Yep, I think that's an improvement. Speaking of improvement, I want to add this kind of staircase, I guess, over here instead of the orange wood, because this just does not fit the theme at all. We're going to be removing these as well as the lanterns right there, and replace it with fences. Yeah, I think that works, and I could even 
instead of using the normal poles that I use, do that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like this. All right, now on to the path over here, because this is pathetic compared. So actually, let me take a look at what I actually want to be farming when it comes to water stuff, because we have two plots over there now. Maybe it is enough and we can convert the rest to land farming. We'll see. These are the orange leaves. I also want the glowing pillar. This is land. This is land as well. Um, blue vine and lily. Definitely want those. Blossom berry. Yes. I also want loom corn. That is also land. This isn't as important. So I'm going to put the important stuff here that I really want. Okay, so here are the things. Cave pumpkins, those are the ones that we have just, well, pretty much converted all of it into bone meal. They were really good for that, so if I could farm those, that would be pretty cool. Blossom berries, not as important. Uh, I definitely want end lotus. Loom corn, which is these, which can be turned into chandeliers. Not as important, but definitely something that I want. And then the glowing pillar seeds, which can get these glowing pillars right here which can't really be used for anything, but I just think they look cool. So I definitely want these four, but all of this is land stuff. And then we have the end lily seed, which we can put over in the water stuff. So I don't think we actually need another plot when it comes to water farming. What we actually need is space to farm on the ground or on land, which I think is where I can remove this and say it served us well at the beginning, but we're going to move it over there instead. I think that is going to be better. Now, in that case, I don't quite know what to do. I think I'll just add a path, actually, leading over here somewhere. This is going to be the cave pumpkin area. This is going to be the cave pumpkin farm. I know that much. But yeah, I'll clean this up, and then I'll be back, hopefully, with a little bit of a plan. All right, I have removed the old farm the schematics that I had put down. We are going to continue this pass, I think, through this crystal right here. Go through here, lead over here. We're going to make this look nice, and this is where we will have our cave melon farm. I think if it can grow on this, I assume it will. We will have that growing right here. I think that is the best course of action. Oh, wait a minute, these are cave bushes. The stuff that I have is cave pumpkins. Okay, well, that's fine. I still want to farm it. So, yeah, a path leading down here. We'll have it here. Maybe we'll have a crop here as well. I guess that'll work. So I think what I really need to do is start working on the path. And I think I also want to yeah, make this look a little bit better, if possible, without ruining the natural look. I think it is doable with a little bit of time and endstone, which I should have plenty of. So let me go and get a bunch of stone materials and we'll get this going. I also, by the way, have an announcement at the end of this video, so be sure to stay to the end because it's a pretty important and good one. All right, I think that is going to do it. I think that looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna worry about that in a moment. So this, I think the path is gonna go kinda, yeah, pretty much straightforward actually. And I think we're gonna go directly through the crystal, eventually leading right over here. All right, I think this is actually gonna, go, gonna look really good once we're finished. So the next thing for me to do is to, oh, right, I used the last spirit stone to, <laughs> <laughs> Make the lanterns. Next thing I need to do is get some more virid stone. And by the way, if you're wondering how I'm getting this randomized pattern, uh, I'm not placing it individually like that. I actually have a mouse with the scroll wheel where I can pretty much just do that and it just spins. So I do that and then I just pretty much just place and it, yeah, it gets pretty random. <laughs> That's how I do it. A random path. Has appeared. The question remains. How are we going to tackle this? How do we want to kind of want to try and move this path around the tree if possible? No, I'm not sure how that is going to work, but I think I have a little bit of an idea. I think that is actually not too bad. 
And I think there we have it. Yeah. I don't think that's too bad, actually. Then when we put some fence in, I think I want some fence in and stuff like that. I think it's going to be pretty good. And again, we can even have a plot over here for other stuff. I don't know what. I don't know what we would want over here, but one of the other things which might not take a whole lot of space, we can remove these. We can put a fence in, fence in here. We could even have something here um, after I fix the water. But yeah, I think that's a plan. I'm gonna go back home, put all this stone stuff away, get my wood stuff back. We'll make this path look nice. I think, yeah, yeah, this crystal stuff, I actually like how we cut into that as well. Maybe remove that. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, I'll get my stone and we'll finish up this path and we'll set up the farm. We will, however, need to go out with Silk Touch and get some of the ground that we need in order to sow those specific seeds. But we'll do that at the end. All right, what I'm also going to do over here, I'm going to remove some of these because there's a little bit too many of them. So I'll remove this one, place one over here, and I'll alternate them kind of like that so we don't have too many of them. And that is actually a trick my friend British Widow taught me. And it is working quite well to alternate them like this, otherwise you just get way too many. So that's a little bit of a build trick for you. Right there, one here, I think one here for sure. And then comes the part where we need to fence some stuff in. I also brought some fence gates, so we'll put those around as well. Hey buddy, I think having a fence gate right here is gonna work perfectly as well. And finally, of course, a fence gate right there, and I'll put, I think, bark underneath these. Very good, very good, I like it. And we'll just add a fence in here to kinda separate this from this. I kinda like having this cave bush here, so I think I'm actually gonna keep it. All I wanna do is kinda just put a fence from up here down to here somewhere, I think. And gonna put a little bit of wall here to keep slimes or whatnot out. And yeah. I really like this. Still missing some light though, so we will be adding that. All right, this place is pretty much set. Now what I need to do is clean up my inventory. I need to get my Silk Touch pickaxe and then we need to start placing down the seeds. Well, we need to get the soil from the different biomes where the different plants are at, which might open an opportunity to go ahead and get some more amber if possible, we shall see. And we now have a stack of charcoal, which I can convert some of them into blocks and finish smelting my thalassium. All right, where are my Silk Touch pickaxe located? Right here. Perfect. Glowing pillar, loom corn, and end lotus. End lotus, I can already plant. That is water based, actually. So, lime corn, cave pumpkin, we already have. So, it's just the biome uh, with the amber in it, and the other one with lime corn. I don't remember. Oh, they can be planted with this. And I just wasted a seed. Sweet. Uh, okay. Well, that makes this very easy. Yeah, these can't be planted here. So, so I do need to go to the uh, amber biome. But is there one where we haven't been yet? I think we're gonna go on a little bit of a trip all the way over here. Only because I want to try and get some amber as well. Which means I also want my fortune pickaxe. Would have been bad if I had forgotten that. So... I'll be traveling all the way over here, pretty much to our forward operating base that we made. Was it episode 3? 4? 2? I don't remember. That, that was early in the days, wasn't it? Anyways, I'll see you there. This is our forward operating base. And here begins the orange biome right here. Aha! Found some. I was dumb and didn't bring any endstone with me, unfortunately. So it looks like I will have to stick to it. It does seem like a pretty good batch though. This should allow us to take it without losing any, hopefully. All right. Three ores, six amber in total. Not bad. Oh, there's a lot down here. How do I get this? Ow. <laughs> okay, well, I'll stop off here in the cave. That's a lot. I think we could make the respawn anchor with all that. Well, I'd say with all that, but of course, 
the stuff that we already have and then that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna waste a firewood rocket. I'll just make a bridge over. There we go. Oh, look at this vein. It's huge. This was definitely worth the trip. So worth the trip. We got 28 amber. And there's so many ores below me right now. I have no idea if this is worth the fireworks, but... That's a platform. I can now land there. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Alright, if I want to get more, this is definitely the place. There are a few patches that I haven't gotten, but I don't want to be using all my fireworks. We already have 52, which can, which can be turned into 13 crystals, so I think... With that, we actually have enough now to make the respawn obelisk. So that was definitely worth the trip. Now I need to use... Oh, I thought I didn't have my lights run again. <laughs> oh boy. Right. Uh, yep, that's a ship. What I need to now is get a bunch of this moss here. All right, a stack and 14. I think that might be enough. The plot isn't too big, but I'll just take extra just to be sure. All right, a stack and 52. Pretty good. I'll say that'll cut it. So now we need to go back. I'll actually stop off at this weird island over here and take what I need of the end moss from this. And we are back. Perfect. Now what I need to do is dig up this and put in the right moss or soil. And then we are good to go. I will be taking that though. I think I want this plot to be loom corn. I think this plot fits the best for that specific thing. Perfect. I have just enough and then I can plant these down and eventually they will grow. And finally place down the glowing pillar seeds. Not too bad. And what I think I'll do over here, because this just looks weird, I will swiftly... Oh, okay, maybe not swiftly enough. I was gonna swiftly put down some end stone here, but that slime kind of got in my way. There we go. Perfect. This is gonna keep the water at bay. <laughs> Looking a little bit better, and my seeds are still intact. The final thing that I want to do now is place... Oh, wait. Why can I not place the power? Oh, it goes on top. Right. Well, that is... <laughs> The new farming area is looking pretty good. I might actually put down more orange seeds for the leaves. We might as well have that in one plot as well. So now we have a new farm area, very close to home. We have the water stuff over there, which I still need to put down the seeds for. But after that, we should be good to go. So both of these seeds can be placed on the water here. But, 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 I... Don't know how I want to do this because I want it to be raised up because these end lotus, they can be quite tall, but I want it to where I can pretty much chop it down without having to swim because then it takes a lot longer to cut. So I think I will have to raise this up using end stone, maybe make a little bit of a platform so I get put further down and I think putting it five blocks or so is going to be good. So the end lily seeds are going to be quite easy because all I need them to be is one level under the this water right here because they grow near can grow near the surface so I don't need them to be that tall. So what I'm just doing here is I'm going to add a little bit of a border with slabs and then I can place the end stone right here and then I can take the end lily seeds and plant them just like so. Perfect. Now this one I'm gonna do the same thing, slabs all, of the, all the way around, but this time I need the end stone to be, well, about five, four blocks lower. This is good right here. I can't mine that block, but that's fine. That means I can grow them one, two, three, four, five maybe? Five tall or so, which is pretty good. And I can fairly easily seed them again. So this should be good. There we go. Now the only thing that I kind of want to do is actually to go down over and kind of do something like this so that the stuff that I mine doesn't flow out. Hopefully this does the trick. Otherwise, I'll just have to make a full, uh, make it all full blocks. And there we go. So I should be able to now just plant these 
and they should grow up to be nice and tall with their flower on top and we should be able to have plenty of lotus stems which I love using together with the lanterns. Boom! I think that's a job done. These are already starting to grow. And just while I have them here, I want to place down these lance leaves in here in this enclosure. Because might as well. Now guys, before we end off today's episode, I have something that I really, really need to do here. And it's pretty big. It's an announcement. So bear with me here just a second. I want to make this tree look very special. This is going to be a special tree right here. This next to our house. And that is why I have a bunch of different lanterns here because I want it to be decorated. I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm going to use a combination of Tenanea and these uh, helix tree fences. And I'm going to put some of these lanterns up. Something like this. Because what I then want to do, for now it will have to be lacquer roof signs, but I think I want to swap them out at a later time for something else. But this is going to be the Patreon tree. So I have basically made it so when you support me on my Patreon page with the tier minion and above, you will get your name with a sign on this tree. So you will get your very own name put on this tree. So to start things off, we have Hyper Gaming. Thank you very much for supporting me or on Patreon. Now, normally I would do one sign uh, per video, but today, because it is special and it's announcement day, I'm also going to put on socks. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you very much for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to all of you who are supporting me on Patreon. And if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so using the link right down below as a description or go to patreon.com slash binary vigilante. Really supports me and the channel. And yeah, if you want your name on here, Go and check it out. I'm actually really surprised how good this tree looks with the different colored lamps and fences. I love it. So yeah, thank you all over on Patreon for supporting what I do. Absolute legends. But just before we cut the episode, I just want to look at all the shadow berries. <laughs> this is amazing. But I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger. We're gonna have some in the next episode. <laughs> Because we, ladies and gentlemen, are out of time. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and bye-bye.